Hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing how I meal prep boiled eggs for the week. If you love boiled eggs and hate the hassle of peeling the shell afterwards, this video is just for you. Before I go further, please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel and don't forget to turn the post notification on. Don't forget to leave a comment, like and also share with your friends and family. Thank you. Now to the crux of the day. Generously grease a deep, wide oven or microwave safe dish. I like to use a non stick cooking spray, however, feel free to use oil if you do not have cooking spray. If using oil, simply just use a brush and rub the oil all over the bowl. I typically crack my eggs individually into a separate bowl before adding it into the bulk or adding it into my cakes or whatever I'm making with it. I have a video that I'll upload soon on the reasons why I do this and why you should also do this. Add the eggs into the greased dish. You can use as many or as little eggs as you want. This I am prepping for two people and it's for the whole week. After adding the eggs into the greased dish, transfer to a wide deep pan or pot. Add some water about halfway through. While adding water, ensure you do not fill up the pan or add too much water so it doesn't bubble over and go into the egg. Cover and set your timer between 6 to 7 for a hard boiled egg. If you like soft boiled eggs, please cook this for lesser time. As the egg cools down, it separates from the edge of the bowl. Otherwise, use a knife and run through the edges to separate. To portion or divide this, you can use a cookie cutter or a knife. If you're making this for kids, you can use fun cookie cutter shapes to portion them out. Making my eggs like this cuts down one step in my cooking process. I use this for salads, for sandwiches, you name it, I use it all. I even use it in noodles. Because I use boiled eggs throughout the week, I typically pack them up in an airtight container and store in the fridge, then use as I go. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, share and also follow for more. Here are some of the recipes that I use this egg for. I hope you have enjoyed or learned one or two things from this video. If you have, please come back for more as I'll be posting more recipes this week. Thank you and love you. Bye!